So last night, I... This keeps bothering me. At 2 p.m. of yesterday, which midnight to 2 p.m. doesn't mean two days ago. I mean, I learned about a thing that your birth certificate is worth billions. Millions. So I looked it up on the Fidelity website, and my birth certificate is worth $1,200,000. Fidelity is a trusted website, so I don't know about that. That's maybe. I don't know. But everywhere on the internet, if you look about this, that your birth certificate is worth money, they give the same generic story, but they don't tell you how to do it. They tell you one form, the UCC1 to fill out, but they don't tell you where to do it, how to do it. Every place you'll go on the internet, there'll be a guy or a girl that will say, you need to sign up for my newsletter. It's only like $200 a month. Or you need to sign up for my program. And it's always a shady, creepy-ass person. The fat guy, I found a hippie-looking girl. If not really, but medium. Um, there's a lot of creepy old men that are all describing this. And some people don't even have pictures of themselves. They're just blank YouTube videos talking about how... When we're born, we're signed off and we're, because the, the, the government went in debt in the 1930, 33. But I found this one weird ass dude. I say he's a dude because he got a sex change, but I can say a she. It can be a she or she, whatever you want. Whatever you want, YouTubers. You know how related videos just show you related things? Well, it led me to his video on how you can trademark your social security card. And that's the biggest scam ever because you can get your social security thing, put it in a scanner, scan it on your computer, go into Photoshop, and put a trademark symbol right next to your name. And then print it back up. Roll the clip. Enjoy. It's quantum. It is quantum. I call it, I speak, I speak angel. I don't speak Angelish or English, as they call it. Anglo-Saxon, that's where English came from. This is how our universe was created. In the beginning, there was the word, and the word was why. So start being the five-year-old again. Start asking why. Don't get caught in the literal. Literal asks who, what, when, where, and how. Intuitive asks why. If you do, well, this is what we have. We have the religiocosis chosen itis mentality of teaching things in a literal sense and it's completely backwards to what what is, is, is true and what is real right and here's the thing this is how they get away with these things is because they're telling you the truth i don't need anybody to admit anything i'm god so are you and that's what i'm here to teach people god is light ye are light ye are god it's pretty simple uh who was it said that oh right some guy called jesus or whatever <laughs>